and that worked out really well because the black was covered by a black spot was covered by the red. Always thinks about the maximum. Thank you, fine. All I was thinking about was just trying to, you know, win the frame. You know, I didn't even realise that the maxi was on. No, you must have done. No, it. honestly, no. I, 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 look, I, I thought I'm going to take this red here. Um, I've got that one there, and then you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm on a 50 break. I make three up. You know, if 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 the opportunity presents itself to get onto um, another red, then hopefully I'll win it in one visit. No, just pulls it there. So you, you you know you're going to hit that full ball. I can't really fail there. See that full ball got that. If I skim off of it there, I hit that one, that goes towards okay. the middle. Or if I hit that full, you know, I've got that one as well. So now that's, that's yeah. the bad news for you. What, the red going on the cushion? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, but, but to be honest, I didn't even notice it was there. I was, all I was happy about was that I was on a red. I wasn't thinking about 147s. I was thinking, oh, that's nice. I'm on the red, on the black. And again, I've got the opportunity to go into these reds. And I've got these two here that go into the, to the corner pocket, or I've got the one that goes in the middle. I looked at the scoreboard when I walked around the table here, and I thought, oh, 49, blacks, reds, there's a 147 on here. And then I thought, no, nah, don't start thinking maxis, just kind of think of winning the frame. But that was a good shot, because that's hard, reverse side. And again, I mean, is it all about giving yourself options? The snooker players watching the same amateurs, that's, is that key to making a big break? Always play for percentage snooker, well, I've rather? I've tried playing for one ball and, and I couldn't play. <laughs> I In what way? Because you... you well, because someone commentated on me once, I think it was Ali Carter, and he said, oh, the good thing about Ronnie, that, which is so hard to do, he said he's always leaving himself options. And I never really thought about it. So then when I went back to practice, I thought, well, should I just start playing for one red? And then when I was, it, the game became impossible. I thought I'm having to play recovery shots all the time mm. because you can never be that perfect with every shot. So I always found it easier to think, right, well, I'll play for that area because then I've got two or three reds rather than play for this area where I have to be perfect. So the title is his. Just a question now can he finish with a 147? This was a good shot after here, this one here. Like I got into this too well. So I want to come there more. Okay. So I've kind of left myself the angle on this red if you pause it a bit. See this one here? The natural angle is... For, it needs to go away from I want it to be here so as I can come straight back and here. But my angle was that I put the red in there and my white was going over to there. So I had to kind of put a lot of left-hand side on it, screw it off the cushion, through to the gap. Yeah, I've hit it so good. Look at it. I mean, it's just going off. away from the... Yeah, black, it's I mean, it was perfect. But also, not only that, you had to make sure you left yourself an angle. If you were straight on it, mm. then you've got even less chance of getting up to that red. Yeah, yeah, the whole point was that if, if I was straight, I, I mean, I can come back here or... But you, I, didn't want to, you didn't want to come back here for that red. No, you didn't want to be here. No. You had to be above the... I wanted to be... The middle pocket. I wanted to be here, really. <laughs> I yeah. mean, as near as I possibly could, because obviously it's, it's not, it's, you're planning to half a pocket. So this black that I played, I actually tried to sort of drift in sort of around this area, really. All I was thinking was pot the red and just get enough pace on the white so as it comes somewhere down here. Just to give yourself a chance on that black? Yeah, just get, get me anywhere down here. I didn't care if it's there, 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 here. That's what there, you're thinking? There, I don't care, mate. As long as I've got a shot on the black. Oh, superb. I mean, it just falls plum on the black, look at it. Yeah. You couldn't have put that anywhere else on the That's table. Unbelievable, It's giving mate. you the angle to get the... Uh, did you, what's your heart doing there? What are you thinking? Yeah, I start to get excited now. This is when I started to get excited, because up until then, although I took 14 reds, 14 blacks, I still had that difficult red. Now, this was the, the shot that done me. I sort of, I wanted the white to stop there, really, but it's okay. kind of drifted on a bit, so now I've got to play like a slow sort of drag stun. And as soon as I hit it, I sighed. I was like, oh. Look, it's gone off the... The white got away from me, I was gutted. I thought, I've done all the hard work, and now I've just messed it up on the easy yellow. So my idea was to get it in there, nice bit of side, punch it in, and let it just drift in around here. And I knew as, as long as I got that bit right, these bits just take care of but themselves. It's, I mean, it's such, a, it's such a difficult shot. Not as difficult as the red we just saw, but playing this with the rest to punch it in, to dig down on the cue ball as well. I mean, I've hit it really good. Yeah. You can see the way it's just drifted around. It just glides, doesn't it? It just glides there. And then, yeah. of course, you've got the blue to pink, which is not the easiest ball in the world. The blue, I've got a humongous kick, kick on it. Yeah, the it? kick. Yeah. yeah, the kick helped me, maybe. Because it's it slowed the white down. Well, widened it up a little bit. But here, I'm just thinking, lovely. What's that feeling like? 
Oh, Get down for the last just pure turn. excitement, mate. Just pure excitement. Especially when this goes in, I was like, look. Ooh. And then, so you got the, the cue in, of course, in that hand, and then you flip it over. Yeah. Brilliant. Sensational. Ronnie O'Sullivan brings the house down with a maximum break to win the title. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it was good fun. Good, good, exciting, you know, I was like buzzing with that. Really. How long does that buzz take you to come down from? Um, you still on it? About 20 minutes. Half an hour. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah, as soon as you get back to the hotel, I was like, oh, it's yeah. over now. Another normal day for Ronnie back, at the office. Yeah, getting ready for the next tournament. It's always about the next tournament. My dad always told me it's, it's history. Whenever I won a tournament, he went, history. Don't even think about it. The next That's one. probably included himself as well. But uh, a wonderful talent. And this, this game is blessed with him. One. Well, of course, uh, last few years he's been working with Dr. Steve Peters, and he certainly, as Ronnie himself has said many times, has certainly made a difference to his general state of mind. And what he discovered about snooker when he wasn't playing last year was that he actually liked snooker and quite it's missed it. He turned up at the Masters one night with a friend to watch and just missed the buzz of being at tournaments, the banter, the, the fun of it. He's come back more dangerous than ever, I think. I'll agree with that. Because he's got the balance right. You know, it's not week in, week out. He's choosing to uh, pick his tournaments. 16. Yeah, at the end of the sit well, next season, as you say, it'll 24. all be done on two years' prize money, and of course, with those world title victories, he's fifth on that list. <laughs> 25. So, uh, he's, uh, as you say, it's worked out well for him, and of course, as world champion, you're automatically seeded second for every event anyway, so his, his world ranking is irrelevant, really. <laughs> and this frame is at his mercy. 32. 33. And there's a danger this could be a quick kill tonight if there's too many more mistakes like the one Pinch has made there. I'm sure it will be. Olivier Martil from Belgium, our referee in the middle here this evening. 41. I'm sure he played it that way, but he'll take it. I think he played the stun through the gap for the red, but it's landed nicely. 49. But as David has just mentioned, what a chance this is to uh, take the opening frame in no time at all. Poor safety from Barry Pinches. Looks like it's going to be severely punished. Well, 56. it's all reds and blacks as well. In four 57. maximums in the history of the Welsh Open, and these two have each made one. Pinches in a qualifying round against our own Joe Johnson. You kept that one quiet. 64. <laughs> well, this would be an unbelievable way to start. Well, you wouldn't put it past him, 72. even though there's work to be done. 73. He's had 11 maximums, Ronnie O'Sullivan, down the years. Same number as Stephen Hendry. Won't well, be best pleased with that one, though. He 80. wanted the drift past the blue. This is, will be a good shot, not only to pop the red, but get onto the black as well. Don't catch the knuckle. Well played, but slow down. What a shot that is. As long as he didn't catch the middle pocket. It's still on. Don't 
snooker himself. Ooh, I think he's okay. It's okay. He's on it. He's got the angle to come back for the black once more. Just going to touch farther. Needs to get on this left hand cushion, and it looks very good indeed. Well, he's played two or three wonderful shots. 96. Ninety-seven. This would be some way to start the match. That one there, the pink, is a little bit awkward. He said after his first match against Mitchell Travis, he felt rusty. Well, he doesn't look very rusty. Oh, oh what a shame. What a shame. So, no maximum. The break ends at 104, but... You can see why it's packed, can't you? You can see why he's box office. Such an exciting player to watch. He leads Barry Pinches 1-0. Thank you.